Hey everybody, it's Captain C.A. with another episode of Captain C.A. Richardson on the fly. In this Flats Class YouTube clip, I'm going to show you some of the baits that I've been having a lot of success out here at Cajun Fishing Adventures in Louisiana on the very first week. Caught over 65 redfish. So let me show you the three baits that are responsible for most of these catches. Let's talk about the top three baits that I used this week. These are the best producing baits for reds. Because I'm fishing in the grass, in the ponds, most of this stuff has to be Texas rigged or at least single hook top water rigs. I'm gonna break each bait down so that you understand how I use them. Here's the top water that I use. This is a custom color of mine. It looks a lot like the finger mullet rolling around in the ponds in the area around here in this region. I put single hook uh, inlines on this bait and took the trebles off. Uh, a lot of that is so that I can negotiate the grass in the ponds, uh, work through some of the thinner grass, and get some really good hookups. You'll notice that these are a little bit beefier inlines from Mustad, and they allow me to stay connected after I get the hook set on the fish, and I can pull them around. You don't have that with a treble hook plug because the treble hooks end up getting tangled in the grass or around some spartina on the edge of the marsh. The fish pull off, so inlines are really important to add to your topwaters here in the Louisiana Marsh Delta. Now let's talk about the next two baits. These are more weedless. Now the next two baits that we're going to show here, one is more of a minnow look and one I try to fish as a more crustacean or shrimp-like look. The one that we search bait fish with quite a bit when the clouds are out is rigged on a Texas eye. This basically is just a four inch diesel minnow. I like using the breaking brim color. I like it because it has tons of flash and glitter. So it's very scaly looking. It's head weighted with the, uh, with the Texas eye. So it's long casting and you can see the design on this jig. It's fairly weedless. It doesn't catch. Uh, on the hook eye or the line tie um, so it makes it quite easy to move through the grass and it's been a fantastic search bait for me. The scented jerk shad, this is a 5 inch jerk shad, I've got it rigged on a 5 uh, 1 8 ounce mustad rigging hook. Now this is a grip pin hook, it does not allow the bait to slide down. It's scented as well, and, uh, and that, that plays to my advantage because we're slow fishing this quite a bit. We sight fish with this bait. Uh, it's pink in color to try to, to be very shrimp-like. I love this color because I can see it from the polling platform. My guys can sight fish with it. They can throw it in the heaviest grass and move it through and never, never foul. Um, it's been a fantastic producer, especially on the fish that we can see. So in closing, let's cover all three baits one more time and re-emphasize what's been the success formula. The overall view you see here is I've, I've created a topwater that we can cover and call fish to us. I've got a great search bait that's kind of finessey. You can sight fish it, and that's the diesel minnows four inch. And then I've got the five inch jerk shed, which is great in the heaviest of grasses. Hey, this is a winning combination. All three of these baits will produce, and like I said, 65 redfish in week one here at Cajun Fishing Adventures. So that's really it. Those three search baits and kind of finesse sight fishing baits has been the key to success here in the first week with the first two groups of clients. Hey, it's not rocket science out here how to catch redfish, but it sure does help to know that if you're using the right stuff, that every cast counts and it really ups the numbers. So I hope these little tips and real-time evergreen information helps you, especially if you're coming out here this summer to do some fishing. Uh, it's a little rainy today and I've got a day off, so decided to shoot a little bit of YouTube. Anyhow, hey, I need you guys to subscribe to Flat Scott's YouTube. That's what we need. We need more subscribers. We want to teach you how to fish. And we've got some great online classes coming soon. So stay tuned for that with all of our social media pages. Until next time, Captain C.A. Richardson, signing off.